Time to save some money. Airfares are significantly higher than they were this time last year. In fact, prices were up nearly 18% in March year over year. That far outpaces the rate of inflation. So I recently posted this video on my Facebook page about how I saved hundreds of dollars on plane tickets for my whole family and it blew up on social media. So many of you asking how you can save. So this morning I'm letting you in on a little known secret. Just look at the ticket counter. <laughs> Booking a flight from your phone or computer is, let's be honest, the easiest and most comfortable way to buy a ticket. But you might be overpaying for that flight when you book online. There is a way to save. The first thing you need to know is this only applies to ultra low cost carriers that charge an online convenience fee. At McGee Tyson Airport, that includes Allegiant and Frontier Airlines. When I checked Allegiance app for a flight from Knoxville to Phoenix, I noticed a section called airline fees. So I checked with an airline representative who told me tickets booked online or purchased over the phone are subject to an electronic carrier usage charge of up to $22 per flight segment. That's $44 per person for one round trip ticket. So I took the information straight to the ticket counter where a rep helped me book the same flight with the same seats and baggage in person. Online, the total was $1,568 for four round trip tickets. But at the ticket counter, the total came to $1,300 for a savings of 268 bucks. I just left the airport and this is the fifth time I've done this. When I posted about the deal, I got dozens of comments. Some of you even tried it yourself, including Tisha Cobb, who says she's headed to Vegas. I saved over $500 for three tickets to Las Vegas. Thank you so much. We're off to Vegas. Thanks to Heather. Now this works for trips that you want to book in advance. It's not just last minute flights. So if you want to try it, we have some pro tips for you. First, know when to go. The ticket counter is not open 24 seven, at least not at McGee Tyson Airport. Check Allegiant and Frontier's flight schedule online before you show up. Also go at the right time. I have tried all times of day and found the fewest crowds in the late afternoon or the early evening. Also try showing up about 45 minutes before the current flight takes off. Line are shorter when agents aren't as busy checking in customers. So like I said, I've done this four times now booking directly at the airport and saved about a thousand dollars total. It's crazy. Another viewer messaged me online. He said he tried this after watching the Facebook video. He saved $510 on 10 tickets from Knoxville to Destin for a fishing trip just by booking at the airport. It's amazing. It, it really, really is. is. And that little suitcase that you're pulling around <laughs> is filled with cash that you've saved. It will be now, hopefully. <laughs> Don't tell your husband. Buy yourself something special, Heather. Oh, let us know if you try it.